guys, welcome to Delightfully Diffused. I'm Paula. Today I'm diffusing two of my favorites, Thieves and Eucalyptus Globulus. Need a little bit of respiratory support today and Thieves is immune boosting. Put, to, put the two together and it's just a really good smell. Um, it's that time of the year, you know. Uh, everybody's getting, you know, it's just that time of the year. The weather just was beautiful. We just had a 70 degree day and now it's, I don't know, seven degrees. It's crazy. So I'm ready. So today's video is about Young Living, why I decided to choose Young Living. First, let me say this. I chose Young Living because it's a, it's more than just about essential oils. It's about wellness, your overall health and wellness. Now, when I first started essential oils, I had actually learned about other companies first. I didn't know a lot about essential oils. I really didn't know what they were for. I didn't know how to use them. I really didn't know much. I just knew that they existed and that people were using them and people were in love with them. Then a friend of mine started using another product and she posted here and there, not too much, so I knew about that. And then I found that same company at the archery studio that we used to go to, archery range that we used to go to. And so I started looking into it. I started looking into essential oils in general a lot more. Then I got, um, I went through a, a medical scare and I went to my first essential oils introduction class. And that was with Young Living. And it was at that point learning about the oils and the different products and the what these oils will do which is help improve your overall health and wellness that I decided I we needed this this is something that was going to help us I did like I said until that point I did very little research so in the beginning I went with Young Living because that's all I really knew you know my two friends from childhood were using the oils and they were in love with them and this is the company that they used so that's how it started for me but after that intro class and after getting my kit i decided i needed to know more about young living i needed to know more about why i shouldn't just go to the health food store and use what's on the shelf so I did that, and I did research, and I did look up, and I did talk to companies, and I did talk to people who used other oils. And this is kind of what I found. What I found was that Young Living, they own a, a large portion of their farms. That is important because they control the, the farms, they control the process and that process is called seed to seal now at the intro class when I heard about seed to seal it sounded like a gimmick but it's really not it's actually quite important young living controls the process from seed to seal so they control the seedlings apparently there's a way to tell if a seedling is going to produce a healthy plant or not and young living is part of that process if they don't feel the seed is going to produce a healthy seedling, they're not gonna plant it or they're not gonna use it. Then there's the cultivation process. There's a whole process, okay? You know, they plant the seed, then there's the next step, which is once it starts to grow, then they have to transfer it into the ground. If it, if it doesn't meet standards before it goes into the ground, it doesn't go into the ground. It, if it doesn't pass certain points in the distillation process, it's not gonna go to the bottling process. Once it goes to the bottling process, if it doesn't pass inspection, if they find that there's something wrong with the oil, there's something slightly off, that oil doesn't go into production, it doesn't get sealed, it doesn't get labeled. So that's really important because you want high quality you don't want something that is cut with uh, synthetic chemicals or you know another oil of course there's blends and that's different but 
you just don't want it cut with garbage is I'm just gonna say it um, you know after that seeing that when they the farms that they don't own those are um, co-op funded farms but what Young Living does when they don't own a farm is they work with the indige indigenous people of that area. So, for instance, uh, Copaiba. That is found in South America, and I believe it's Brazil to be exact. And they work f with the people in that area to produce the Copaiba plant. And it, it's, all, it's like that all across the country. They don't just try to tr plant out here in America where it's not native, they want to produce the plant. They want the plant to grow in its native environment because that's where it's going to be the strongest, that's where it's going to be the healthiest, and that's when you're going to get the best quality. If you try to transfer it out of its natural environment, you're not going to get that quality. And that is important. That's extremely important. Again, it comes down to quality. Other companies, they don't do that. And another thing that other companies can't do is they can't, they don't have that same control. So if a crop isn't the best, they still have to use that crop. Whereas Young Living, if the crop isn't the best, they don't use that crop. So again, that was a very important point for me where I was like, hmm, another point for me, and that Young Living isn't the only company out there, but Young Living does it's a whole lifestyle. It's, it's a way for you to improve your lifestyle with other products. It's not just about essential oils. They have supplements. They have, um, what is this, body care? You know, body wash, shave cream. They have oral care, toothpaste, mouthwash, floss. They have cleaning products. This stuff I absolutely love. It is the Thieves Household Cleaner. I have replaced all of our cleaning products with that one product. Kind of, it sounds a little, really, but really, I have. I, the windows, the counters, the, the stove, the bathroom, you know, you name it, I've replaced it. So, you know, just in general, they make products that don't use all those synthetic chemicals that items that you buy at the store have. Those synthetic chemicals are terrible for you. When a body wash, when you look at the body wash and you see fragrance, that's pretty much where you should say, yep, never mind, put it down and walk away. Because fragrances do, fragrances do come from essential oils, but the problem is they're highly cut with synthetic chemicals. And that is where all the hormone disruption comes from and the problems that you read and hear about come from. Um, you know, of course, when I first started using Young Living, I knew that this was something that I could believe in. I knew that this was something that we were gonna use and I knew it was gonna work for our family. Therefore, I knew I wanted to share it with other people. And Young Living does have where you can start your own business doing it. So that was another small reason why I chose Young Living. All of these reasons are just parts of the pie. There's one last part of, a, of the pie that really made me go with Young Living. And that is the action of the oils. This is where it gets really, really important. So let's use eucalyptus globulus, for example, okay? This is great for respiratory support. This is Young Living's eucalyptus. Now, if I were to go to the health food store and take another eucalyptus, the action of the oil, the way the ability that it works is gonna be different. Yes, it could work, but not at the same level that this does. And that is what I have found with three different companies. 
that's a whole nother video that I'm not going to get into right now, but I just, that's the biggest reason. Finding that out of these other companies, this is the one that has the best action. So in a nutshell, that is why I chose Young Living. That's why I decided to use their products. And that's why I decided I wanted to share these products with everybody. If you have any questions, please make sure you comment below. That's it for today. And if you want to keep up to date with the videos that I'm doing, don't forget to subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook, which is Facebook. Um, it's at Delightfully Diffused. And then Instagram is at Delightfully Diffused as well. Until next time, guys, keep diffusing. Bye.